More than 47,000 runners will be lacing up their shoes for the 40th annual Chicago Marathon Sunday. Among them, 200 people running in memory of those who died by suicide. WDN's Mike Lowe has the story of a Chicago woman running for her mother. Every day the sun rises is a day we can find a glimmer of hope, even when the world seems to be at its darkest. I just miss her so much. And one step at a time, 26-year-old Claire Radler has discovered that on life's long journey, some lights burn so brightly, they continue to illuminate our paths even after they're gone. She was the best mom, the light of our lives, just an amazing woman. As she winds through Old Town, she's thinking of her mom, Catherine. She was very active in our community. She worked at the library. She loved reading. Who was lost to suicide in 2019. Catherine met her husband at Northwestern. They had three kids and lived in Winnetka. She enjoyed reading and even worked at the local library. But behind those piercing blue eyes, there was a certain sadness. She was diagnosed with postpartum depression and essentially never recovered from that. Now Claire is rounding the corner and preparing to run the Chicago Marathon on Sunday. It's her first ever 26.2 mile race. I could barely run a mile in January, so it's really been a great experience to see how far I've come, and I'm super excited for the race. She is one of more than 200 runners participating to raise both money and awareness for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Thought it would be a great way to kind of honor my mother, my family, and raise money for a cause. That's just a really great organization. She stands out in the crowd not only because of her bright pink vest and the shamrock on her shoulder, but because the University of Notre Dame graduate has raised more money than anyone in the marathon for suicide prevention, more than $15,000 so far. Spread the word, or remove the stigma, because there's just so much stigma around this type of depression. One of her last workouts before Sunday's race took her past Lake Michigan, which always replenishes the spirit, and toward Navy Pier and the reminders of life's joy. As she heads toward the finish line on Sunday, she says her dad, her brother, and her sister will be waiting for her. But she says her mom will be with her the whole time, always lighting her path. All of my family has just said she's with you every step of the way. At the lakefront, Mike Lowe, WGN News. If you'd like to donate to Claire's Suicide Prevention Fundraiser, we have a link at our website. And if you or someone you know is struggling, dial or text 988. Help from the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline is available 24 hours a day.